Now, it's been more than three months since Donald Trump suspended India from the GSP or generalized system of preferences. But now it seems that even in Washington, D.C., there's a large group of lawmakers who believe that India's special trade status should be reinstated. 44 lawmakers cutting across party lines in the U.S. have written to the U.S. Trade Chief Robert Lighthizer, requesting him to reverse the U.S. government's stance on trade with India. The efforts are being led by lawmaker Jim Himes and Ron Estes and includes 26 Democratic signatories and 18 Republican ones, a clear signal that there is bipartisan support for the move. Now, many of the lawmakers were prompted by an increase in the price of goods in their respective constituencies. The letter asks the government to use the early harvest approach to reinstating trade relations. An early harvest approach is a precursor to a free trade agreement and helps the countries involved to identify which products they would like to include in the free trade bracket. According to the lawmakers, this will help U.S. companies gain access to the Indian market. The tariffs have reportedly had an adverse impact on U.S. companies and consumers alike. And the timing of this letter is also important. It comes merely days before Prime Minister Narendra Modi visits the United States where he is scheduled to share the stage with President Donald Trump. The GSP is a trade agreement which allows some countries to sell their goods duty-free in the U.S. India sold around $6.3 billion worth of goods under this agreement in 2018. But following trade tensions, the U.S. suspended India from the list on 5th of June this year. In yet another surgical strike on Pakistani propaganda, India has cracked down on fake Twitter profiles of Indian army officers being operated at the behest of Islamabad. After being isolated on the global stage on Jammu and Kashmir, a rattled Pakistani army resorted to creating fake profiles of top Indian army officers and veterans to better lies on the abrogation of Article 370. On your screens right now are the pictures of the fake profiles that were taken down after India raised the matter with Twitter. The one fake account is that of Indian Army Chief General Bipin Rawat. The others included Lieutenant General Ranbir Singh, who is the Chief of Northern Command of the Indian Army. Now, most of these uh, tweets dealt with Jammu and Kashmir and fake news on Army civilian rift. Notably, many of these and thousands of other handles were created in about three or four years ago. But they became active only after 5th August, the day Jammu and Kashmir's special status was repealed. In fact, the Pakistani army has hired over 200 handlers to make sleeper accounts of top Indian army officers. Not only that, a debt-ridden Pakistan is spending millions on these fake accounts. Aware of Pakistan, or rather Rawalpindi's antics, New Delhi has already got most of these uh, accounts suspended.